Well done if you've made it this far. This is our fourth and final skill in this workshop. So far, you've learnt how network conversations and network traffic works, how to identify the programs or parties involved in these conversations, and next, you would look at next we will look at how to manipulate these conversations by either temporarily or permanently closing or blocking these network connections let's get into it first open google chrome browser minimize the browser Next, we open Seaports, wherever you have it downloaded. Right-click on the EXE application. Be sure to run as Administrator. We see here Google Chrome is indeed one of the processes that seem to be engaging in network activity and is having a conversation with at least two third parties on the internet. Here are the different addresses. Now, if we would like to temporarily close these connections or conversations, we could select the Google Chrome entity at the top, press and hold the shift button Press on the down button on your computer or laptop keyboard until you've selected all the Google Chrome processes. Right click and click close selected TCP connections. This will temporarily close the conversations your local computer is having with remote computers via the Google Chrome browser. Click yes to confirm. Ignore the error message should you see one. Click OK. And now we see those conversations have indeed been ended. However, if we went back to our Chrome browser and searched for anything, and we went back to Seaports, we will see that Google Chrome quickly restarted new conversations with some more remote computers. Now, this isn't a very powerful approach. However, it has its uses. A more robust approach may be to completely block the network traffic. We can do this by right-clicking on the Komodo icon in the taskbar Ensure Advanced View is selected. Move to Firewall. Click Block All. What we've done here is blocked all incoming and outgoing network activity, traffic, and conversations that occur with our local PC. So this time, if we went to Google or any other program that connects to the Internet, and we try to make a connection, we would see that it's blocked. As we can see here, Google cannot connect to the internet or any other third party or remote computer. Head back to Komodo, right click again, firewall, this time click safe mode once again. This should reestablish your computers and Google's ability to remake to make remote connections. We can connect our computer to remote parties to have network conversations. Now the problem with our previous approach by blocking all network activity is that it blocks all programs from being able to access the internet. 
this may be undesirable. We see here if we opened Firefox instead of Google Chrome, we still would not be able to access the internet or any other program for that matter. This is hardly efficient. A more efficient approach would be to target the programs that we would like to block from accessing the internet. Ensure your firewall is on safe mode. This time we head to Sys Internals. We right click on Autorun64, the application, not the .dll. Run as administrator. This program will take a few seconds while it loads and it scans the entities on our computer. Wait until it's completed. You should see ready once the process is completed. We see here ready. Autoruns has completed the scanning of our computer. Now, there are usually three ways a program uses to automatically initiate network activity on computers. These are log on, schedule tasks, and services. We'll look at each of them now. Log on, as the name suggests, is where a program automatically starts itself and possibly network activity once you start your computer or log on to it. We see here Google Updates is one such program that automatically starts and attempts to update itself, i.e. connects to remote computers in Google's network to update your local browser. Another approach is the use of schedule task. As the name suggests, these tasks run at scheduled times. This may be, interestingly, when your computer starts up, so they inherently can act as log-on programs. However, schedule tasks can also run every month, every fortnight, even every minute. We see here one program that I've got installed on this computer, CCleaner, attempts to update itself at a scheduled time. The third method is through the use of services. We see here Google Update uses a number of services to update itself. These are the three main these are the three main methods programs use to automatically start themselves and engage in network activity on your computer. To disable programs individually from doing so, we simply untick them from the relevant columns. So by unticking Google update from the logon, we stop this process from establishing any network activity when we log on to our computer. We take control of the update process by manually deciding when we would like to update our browser. Schedule tasks, the same can be done. Simply on tick the program you would like to stop from running at scheduled intervals. Similarly, services on tick the programs that you would like to stop from running as services, which almost run constantly in the background while your computer is on.